So I'm sure that all of you by now have heard about the recent news of all Kingdom Hearts games being ported over to PC. This excites me a lot. Like, you guys don't fucking realize how excited I am. Because not only does this mean I can experience all Kingdom Hearts games at 4K... No, that's, uh, that, I, I'm not sure if it's gonna be 4K, but I know for a fact that the frame rate on PC will be a lot better than what's available on both PS4 and PS5, because the PS5 maxes out at 60 FPS, however, on PC, I, I assume that they're gonna add PC customization, and if they do, that basically means you can change the frame rate and possibly the graphics. Oh my god, I just realized that, you know, so it'll be so much easier to stream and play these games as well. But overall, the main thing I, I want to talk about in this video is modding for Kingdom Hearts 3 specifically. As you may know, if you want to mod Kingdom Hearts 3, you need a jailbroken PS4. And the process for modding any game is basically trial and error, but um, since the game is on PS4, you have to make a patch for the game, which takes about 30 minutes, and to install it, it takes another 5. So just to test a few things out, and just to end up with an error, you have to go through almost 35 to 40 minutes of uh, rendering. That doesn't include your actual mod time. So the process is super long on PS4 and on PC, it'll be very short, which is really exciting. But now with a PC port of Kingdom Hearts 3 that runs on Unreal Engine 4, this makes modding a lot easier. So I am going to take a break. I know that I haven't posted a modded video in a while. That's because I've been trying to figure out a bunch of stuff out and I've just been doing that process of trial and error specifically with keyblade swapping and giving different characters keyblades and the correct sound effects and keyblade effects um that alongside school has taken up until now since my most previous modding video which is with aqua i'm still going to stream i'm not going to be taking a break from youtube i'm still going to stream i'm still going to make videos like this this is kind of a news and update video but um, know for a fact that my modding videos will slow down by a large amount. Unless I figure out how to do something crazy. But I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to just overall take a break from modding. Because, you know, staring at a computer screen for 12 hours the, during school and then for another 12 hours just modding is kind of getting too much. Um, another thing I want to do is in this, I say it, relatively over a month until Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out on PC, March 30th. Um, I want to learn as much as I can with Unreal Engine 4 and Blender because th those are things that allow you to make custom animations uh, that Luceyu actually already got working in Kingdom Hearts 3 on the PS4, which is pretty insane because, again, this is all with the PS4. Imagine what Luceyu can do if he has access to Kingdom Hearts 3 on PC, and stuff like that boggles my mind. I saw tweets about Kingdom Hearts 3 Randomizer, all this is theoretically possible. People just have to sit down and do it. And I want to be one of those people. I honestly think that I'm going to take a break, I'm again, I'm going to be streaming, but I'm going to take a break until I have enough Unreal Engine 4 knowledge and just enough knowledge in general to be able to want to do something and to be able to go and do it without having to bother people with a ridiculous amount of questions. This this marks a new era for both Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts modding. First off, I plan to buy a uh, majority of the games. I'm thinking of buying Melody of Memory and Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't honestly see a point in buying 1.5 plus 2.5 again, since, you know, first of all, if I want to play mod of that game, I'll just use the countless mods that have been made on... Uh, the emulator for PS2, and if I want to do anything else with uh, the older games, I have my PlayStation 5, and honestly, it runs the games perfectly well. The main game that I'm interested in is mostly Kingdom Hearts 3, because again, it's made on Unreal Engine 4, and Unreal Engine 4 is like a really big thing on PC. I'm grateful that what modding has brought to me already by now because obviously my channel has grown, I, th and I hope that this break that I'm giving myself from modding, this isn't only going to help me like mod better in the future, but it's also going to let me broaden the games I play on my channel. It's kind of crazy to think that I, I've been modding Kingdom Hearts for a little over a month now, and it comes out on PC 
that soon which makes it so much better because i already know the process of how to basically mod but um yeah i'm kind of just ranting now um yeah that that's it i don't know what type of video this is news video whatever video this is a whatever video i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out the streams that i'll be doing over the weekends or whenever you're watching this i could be streaming right now um yeah i hope to see you guys in the next one peace